you document this day via video. It is February 22nd, 2022. Andrew and I got an email from NVC saying that all of our documents have been approved and he is qualified for an interview in Montreal. And I can't believe it. God's timing is immaculate. If this works out, it's just, there's no other way to explain it but God. When I got the email, I lost it. I was crying nonstop. And now we just wait for them to schedule an interview for him. And then we go from there. first 2022 and it's like 8 30 in the morning we are at the hotel in montreal and actually andrew is on his way to his immigration interview i look like a mess because i just woke up but i really wanted to document today um yeah so I'm at the hotel just waiting because I actually can't go with him. And then his interview is at 9 a.m. And it's within walking distance. So he went to walk to the building. And I'm like nervous, but excited at the same time. Whatever happens, happens and God's in control. I just have to kind of, you know, prepare myself for exciting news or not so great news. So that's what's happening today. Andrew, can you tell the camera what happened today? I drove on the race track. And what else? I'm a Formula One driver. And you got your visa <laughs> approved. That's <laughs> less exciting. <laughs> <gasps> You can't say that. Oh, come on, man. Formula One is more exciting to you. Yeah. Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you even got a new a new hat. A trucker hat. <laughs> I can't put it. Is that not supposed to go with that? 
yeah we are moving <laughs> it's so crazy to say out loud it won't really hit us until we have our like everyday life going to church going to work coming home actually having community and just living life um we're so excited and I just want to say thank you so much to those of you who have been super encouraging throughout all of this and have sent us prayers and encouraging words. From my experience, it just feels like we've been getting more kind and encouraging words from people that really, really know us as people and as a couple, individually and as a couple. Um, just from my experience, it feels like we can really feel the love 
from the people that know how much we've struggled um, for the past, I'd say three years that have been the hardest for us. Um, not in like our marriage or anything like that, but just like our mental health or spiritual health. Um, it's been kind of hard and I don't really share how much we've struggled just openly to anyone. I, I'm careful with who I speak to because I have a lot of trust issues. <laughs> so if you know how much we've been through, consider yourself very special to me. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> we are moving. And I just ask that you guys would please keep my husband in your prayers because I know for me, transitioning from living in the U.S. to living in Canada was not easy. And it, I'm not very good at adjusting to, I don't know, different um, atmospheres. And I do think that it was harder for me in many ways coming here than it will be for Andrew to go and live in the USA, but that's a whole different topic that I won't get into. Um, but yeah, just pray that he would find a great community and that he would make really great friends and feel welcome um, wherever we end up living. And yeah, it's so crazy. I feel like my emotions have been like crazy up and down and we are moving and we really feel God's provision in this and it is a scary thing to go through trusting God with your future and you know not having everything 100% planned out but we know that we both have God's peace in knowing that we've made the right decision and we're excited to see what God has planned and where we will end up. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye guys. I'm moving. I am moving. Thank <laughs> you.